Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, I'm really, really proud of our guys' response in the second half. I mean, you know, a team that's as good as they are, and especially at home, um, and you can't, and, and you really see why they're a good team, and it has nothing to do with making or missing shots. There was a stretch right there in the first half where they got, you know, we call them 50-50 balls, and um, they came up with three of those that really, I think, led to six to eight points, and I thought that was kind of the momentum swing in the first half, where now you're maybe down five and then they make a couple shots and you're down 10 as opposed to down 10 and now you're down 15 and I thought you know those plays I mean that's what Najee Dagan Hart I mean that's 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 why they're you know that's why they're a good team and for our guys especially our younger guys to understand that knowing that yeah we played hard but there's in a different level of playing hard that in order to compete at the highest level that's what you need to have and it's hard when you don't have some of the guys that you don't have in terms of where Graham EK you know he, he comes up with 12 rebounds in that game but that's the reality of we don't have them but I thought the guys we did have I thought they really battled uh, the guys in the second half without Maldo I thought uh, you know to get us back you know in the game um, and, and, and it was good for those guys to kind of feel that I thought Caden Powell did a really good job during that stretch but give them credit I mean they're a good team they know how to win um, so now we'll just get back and get ready for New Mexico. What will Powell and Nate learn from this? You know, like well, Najee and well, those guys have been in the weight room yeah, a long time. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is that when you play against the UNLV, you play against a, a Boise, you can sit there and practice. I mean, when he's not going against Graham E.K. in practice, you know, that's the beauty when Graham's there is that he's going up against, you know, one of the best post players in the country every day. And when he's not there and you can't practice because you don't have enough bodies, well, you need live reps. I mean, there's only so much practice and individual work that you can do, but you got to feel the athleticism. You got to feel the size. And I thought he, Caden, made a big jump from the UNLV game to this game in terms of, you know, when he got those passes in the in the window that he didn't panic. And you know, I was really proud of the play he made. You know, I have much respect for Dagenhart and, and, and Najee as, as any coach in the league, and for him to go get those two offensive rebounds and go right back and attack those guys. You know, I think that's a big play for him moving forward. Is it? Uh, are you kidding me? A moment again when Maldo went out? Yeah, I mean that's probably chapter thirty-eight. I mean we'll see. I'm not quite sure what the yeah. the extent of it is, but I mean he really was playing with with one arm there in the in the second half, and that's credit to him. I mean he could have sat it out, but you know we'll fit, find out more here in the next couple of days. They didn't have Shaver obviously against San Diego State. Uh, he was back and looked looked pretty good. I mean how much of a difference does he make? When yeah, he's I mean he's I mean he's been what five six years, and you know being the primary ball handler and. You're playing a team like San Diego State who can get up and pressure you and can just keep putting bodies. I mean, it, that's really tough to play those guys without them. And, you know, when he's there, it's just it's just a little bit different deal. I mean, he just puts so much pressure, even even without the ball, just the gravity that he creates away from the ball. Um, and so, yeah, I was kind of hoping that maybe he didn't play, but we expected him to play. Looks like when's not a... You know, more jump in his step tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think for him, it's just a matter of getting his rhythm and timing back. I mean, he was out over three, three, four weeks uh, with that knee deal. So it takes some time. And I thought that uh, in the second half, he, he did a good, he, you could tell he was kind of moving like his old self. But he's too good of a shooter. I mean, he was shooting 45% from the yeah. three before he got hurt. And it's just tough when you have a play. You were here, obviously, when they were building this thing. Why are they so consistent year in, year out? Well, I mean, I think just in terms of just the overall program and, and what, you know, Coach Rice, you know, as the figurehead, the, the guy that, you know, he sets the tone from the top, and he just does, you know, they've just as a, a whole, I mean, just the program as a whole. And then as you have success, you can continue to recruit those type of guys that allow you to do that, that are a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, more athletic. I mean, back in 2010 to 12, 13, we, you were getting guys that were 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and now you can get the guys that are 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and now you can get in on transfers. And, you know, Boise's, I mean, in those... 10 or 12 years, I mean, we got here in 2010. I mean, Boise's come a long ways as a city, and I mean, it's a place when kids come here, I mean, there's a lot of wow to them. The, the balance they have, I mean, I know they don't have much off the bench, but they're five starters. Yeah. Any one of those guys could go for 20. I mean, is that hard to defend? Yeah, I mean, it's just, that's the beauty of basketball, not football. I mean, football, you need, you know, 22 guys and a lot more after that in basketball. I mean, really, you got five guys, and five guys that are tough and, and, and can play at the, you know, have the level of discipline and effort that it requires to win games for 40 plus minutes. And that's why I kept telling my guys, even though some of my guys, younger guys, haven't had those minutes to kind of develop that stamina. It was like, hey man, they're, they're not playing, they're playing the same amount of guys as we are. And so, um, you know, that's good for Caden Powell to see Najee Smith over the course of, I don't know how many minutes he played tonight, but like, he, doesn't, he doesn't get tired. Or if he does get tired, he knows when to kind of, you know, when to take maybe a little bit of a break, but 
Um, and so I think for them to feel that, that was good. How much do you, different do you feel this Saturday night compared to last Saturday night? Oh, man, it's just, I mean, I think for our guys, I mean, just, I said, there's a, there's a toughness and togetherness there. And, um, yeah, we didn't defensively in the second half, I mean, I think, you know, 61%, but we turned them over 14 times. But, you know, you can just, yeah, I said, you, you can feel the spirit, and that's, that's, what all, that's all I'm asking for. I mean, I can, I can live with, I don't like living with losing, but if, if, if it looks right, um, you know, and it's looked right the last couple of games. So have you seen everybody in the Mountain West now, including Boise State twice? How, how do you think they stack up in, in this league this year? Yeah, I mean, I think in terms of, you know, their, you know, with, with their starting five, I mean, now that's what's going to be probably as you make your way down the stretch is that depth. Um, just because they rely so much on those guys, where San Diego State, a couple other teams in the league, maybe have a little bit more depth. But you know, when you come, to, when it comes down to late in the season, anyways, I mean, you're probably most teams are playing six or seven. But um, you know, they got as good a chance as anybody. And I think our league in general, I mean, that's you know, one through eleven. I mean, anybody can beat anybody, and you know, that's the dangerous thing about us right now. I mean, I mean, it, we're probably the most important game for them because you come in here and, and I mean, I'm not sure what we are, quad three, quad four, but can't lose that game and so now I mean there's even an extra sense of urgency on their part to make sure you know, they don't have that game on their resume.